hello guys how are you okay this time i was sharing how you can read the remote website information how you can download and then how you can check your internet service provider what is your public ip address what is a, the remote website using certificate you know all this information you can use it the car command okay the first thing we just start to read the remote website information or maybe you can call that we can read the remote website the website http header information okay there is a two part when you request the information right there is this the http server web server will be reply the http header information and body information but car command we use this slash uh, sorry dash i to check is the http header information what is the header information which means what protocol they are using web server they are using what security header they are set all this information you can check from here okay so let's try to restart from the youtube.com or maybe you can start from the google.com okay let's wait a few seconds we will receive the information we already sent the request okay which means we send the get request to the google web server okay we already received how do you know that we successfully we got the http number 200 which means we all successfully retrieve the http page or http header information okay so they are using protocol http protocol version 2 okay so there is a content type what is it content type the html page then you can go all this thing and then you can obviously know that someone of the server what is a gws server i have no idea what is gws server okay later we go and find what is the gws server then you can go there is some http content HTTP access production a spring options you know that's all there is no mesh security header only they enable a few only access the production a spring options that's all cache control there is no any other information okay so later we go and find what is a gws server okay they are using the http version 2 and we successfully retrieve the information that's all there is no much interesting things okay let's go and try on the youtube website www.youtube.com please remember as well I just share all this information just for education and purpose only okay great don't try to hand there other person properties okay please just sharing the information how you can read the remote website information just for education and purpose only okay thank you so much okay youtube is we already retrieve the information both are saying what is it they are using the both the HTTP version protocol version 2 and then we can successfully retreat based on their number okay then we can see content i http but what is the different now huh? when we request the information from google right you can see the header information only a few you know but when you request the information from the youtube right then you can see so much information much higher than the google okay but obviously the different they are using the different server Google is using the GWS server, the Facebook is using, sorry, the YouTube is using the ESF server. Okay, this is a different things. And then some security headers, uh, you know, Google didn't set, but the YouTube is set the X-Spring option. X-Spring option, they already set, right? The Google also already set the X-Spring option. XSS production already set, but the strict transport security haven't set. Okay, so yeah permission policy cross origin opener so all these security headers are uh, didn't set on the on the google but youtube is already the all this security header okay this is we read the http header information using the car command using the switch dash i okay capital i okay let's go and check what is efsf and what is the gws server okay what is esf server okay so efs server is a cat stand web server developed by the google which means google created their own cat stand web server to hosting the youtube website okay they are using own one they didn't buy from the they didn't use the other version web server they are using cat stand web server they develop okay let's try on the what is gws server oh google web server oh interesting okay google website they are 
just one is a cache time web server this one is a proprietary web server okay google is using their proprietary web server they didn't purchase from the any other that body web server well that body company they're using their own proprietary web server okay this is just for information it's really amazing right they are using the own web server they created okay this time we go and try the facebook sorry let me clear the page facebook okay www.facebook.com okay just wait a few seconds okay finally we receive the retrieve the information when we send the get request we retrieve the information oh the both are same they're using the HTTP protocol version too they also they are set the same security headers and then you know they also set a lot of security header one of the obvious thing you realize that there is no web server information there is no any server information okay which means facebook is hiding their server they don't want the public to know what server they are using maybe they are using the same server you can purchase from the outside but they don't want to know what server they are using that's why they are hiding their their security header okay so this is one of the interesting thing right okay you go and try the the reps of the web server which or uh, maybe you can try the www.yahoo.com maybe you can try some other web server i don't want to show you just try yourself okay let's go we're going to download the file from the internet okay so this time i don't want to use the web browser to download i want to download from the terminal okay let's go and try first okay let me copy and this time i will download the iso file from the internet okay You can download from the website also right but we don't i don't want to want download, download I, don't, I want to download from the terminal just enter that's all i think quite quite faster than you download from the the browser you download from the terminal quite faster then you have to wait a few seconds after 100 percent is finished then the download will be finished okay okay 100 percent is 10 already okay we downloaded the file let's see whether we downloaded or not okay where is the file okay this file iso file we have downloaded this file okay this is using car command to download the file okay this time what we can see is we can use the minus v option to check the remote server certificate information certificate which means they are encrypted the connection between the sender and receiver okay just use dash v then we will try the google again oh a lot of information but i don't want to read all this information i just want to read only the certificate part okay then you can go okay finally we read there is a sam you know sending and receiving sending finally they are using the tls13 to establish the connection and then they are using the echo is sha 384 okay then they are accepted all the things that domain canonical name www.google.com who is the issuer of this certificate oh google's are using their own company to you know issue their own certificate they didn't buy from the third party they have their own issuer is using google trust service okay they issue their own certificate for their google.com website okay so much interesting thing and then user agents car okay they allow the car to retrieve the information okay so the rest of the information is just now we check the header information right you also check from here minus v option to hit all the security header informations you can check from here what is the server okay or maybe use the only header you type dash i to check the security header information okay this two command i don't want to test from here i want you to test yourself okay call if config dot me okay you try to test yourself and then another command is ip info dot io 
okay this two